Hi, my name is Audrey, and welcome to my presentation on the Atlantic Pygmy Octopus, also known as the Dwarf Octopus, as it is the smallest known species of octopus. The Atlantic Pygmy Octopus is a member of the Animal Kingdom, the Mollusk Phylum, the Cephalopod Class, and the Octopus Genus. These tiny octopods are carnivorous. They dine on animals with hard shells, like clams, crustaceans, and mollusks. They hunt by injecting their poisonous saliva through the shell of their prey, paralyzing them. These tiny but mighty creatures will only grow up to five and a half inches long and only weigh about an ounce. They have an ink sac, just like larger octopuses, which they can use to release ink if they feel like they are in danger. In addition, the Atlantic pygmy can blend into its surrounding by contracting certain muscles, changing the color, shape, and texture of its body. But their camouflage abilities don't stop there. These intelligent creatures will even hide in crevices shells, or even debris. Then pull sand around their entry point to further disguise themselves. With all of those adaptations on their side, it can be really hard for researchers to find and observe these beautiful animals. However, when they can be found, they're usually around the Cayman Islands. This is because the water around the Cayman Islands is warm, salty, and clean. These delicate creatures do not do well with pollution, so as more and more encroaches upon their natural habitat, their habitat grows smaller. They can also be found in some home aquariums because they can be kept in salt water as pets. All octopuses are generally regarded as smart, especially the Atlantic pygmy octopus. They are considered playful and yet are introverted as they prefer to spend most of their time alone. They're very good at problem solving, including rearranging their own environment to fit their needs, and are very opinionated, often hunting the animals which they enjoy eating more, much more vigorously than others. The mating process of the Atlantic pygmy octopus is a little bit odd. It begins with a male octopus giving a stinky female a sperm sac. The females introduce the sperm sac into their bodies while the males wander off and die within a couple of weeks. The female will absorb the sac and the process of fertilization will occur inside of her body. Fertilization will take her a long time because there are thousands of eggs which must go through the process. Eventually, she will birth many octopuses, and they will be approximately 0.4 pounds each. Despite their tiny size, within a few hours they'll have the motor skills to swim and hunt. From birth until the 20 or 30 second week of life, the octopuses will remain in the juvenile stage of their life, after which point they become old enough to reproduce themselves, repeating the cycle. And to conclude my work cited, I listed the citations in the order that the photos appeared. It was a little tricky finding photos of the rather difficult to locate Atlantic pygmy octopus that also had distinct photographers that I could credit, but I managed and did my best. So thank you so much for listening to my presentation, and that's all.